In this demo, I'm going to show you how to deploy a local Kubernetes cluster on your machine using Kind and onboard that cluster as an Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster. As you can see, I have an empty resource group. I named that Arc Kind Demo, and this is the resource group where the Arc enabled cluster will show up once we'll finish the onboarding process. If you're not familiar with Kind, Kind is a tool. Uh, giving you the ability to deploy a local Kubernetes cluster inside the Docker container. It's called Docker in Docker, or shortly DIND, and it's really a way to deploy Kubernetes cluster very fast. Um, and it, um, it gives you the ability to test Kubernetes functionalities, and in this case, we're going to use that to onboard that specific cluster to Azure Arc. Now, I already have a Kind install on my, installed on my machine, and we're going to use that CLI to deploy the cluster. Before we're going to go and deploy the cluster, it's important to uh, understand that Kind can use uh, a preset configuration. Those configurations come in a form of a YAML file, and here I already have the configuration we're going to use as part of our deployment. And there are a few things to note here, and not all of them are relevant for this demo and the onboarding process, but they are very much relevant to the future demos that we're gonna uh, provide around GitOps with Kubernetes. The first thing to notice is the node labels uh, ingress ready. And this is really about uh, deploying ingress um, and also Nginx later on with a node port mapping. This will allow us to basically access a web application that we're going to deploy later on in future demos. Also, the extra port mapping is about uh, providing us the ability to forward port 80 and 443 and actually access that web application via port 80 in our case. I'm also deploying a couple of workers as part of that cluster, and we have the control plane as well. So let's go ahead and deploy the cluster and I already have the command ready to go and we are deploying the cluster we name it arc kind demo we're using the kind yaml config file and also I want to have the cube config file uh, created inside the folder that I'm currently at which is the dev folder as you can see so let's go ahead and deploy the cluster and at first time when you're deploying kind it will take a bit of time because it needs to download the images locally and then bootstrap the, clus the cluster. But in future, uh, in future deployments that you're going to have, it will be much faster. So we're going to pause here and come back once that cluster will be up and running. It will take a few minutes and we'll continue from there. Great. So the cluster is up and running. We, as you can see, we have kubectl cluster info command uh, generated for us. Let's use that command to see that everything is working as expected. So you can see that the master is up and running, the cube DNS is up and running, and also here in the folder that we are at, we have the kind config, the cube config file, actually, that we generated as part of that deployment. If I'll go to that con uh, cube config file, you can see it's a standard Kubernetes cube config file nothing special about that. Let's clear the screen and uh, move on. Now, we have the cluster up and running. We want to check also that everything is working from nodes perspective and we have the namespaces and the pods. But also, more importantly, the AZ connected Kubernetes create command, which is the command that we're going to use to onboard the cluster as an Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster, is using kubectl. So, before we are moving on, we need to make sure that the environment variable is set. So I'm going to export the cube config environment variable. And as you can see, I'm already pointing into the kind config file that I have in the folder that I'm at. In, and now if I'll run kubectl get nodes dash o wide, you can see that I have the cluster up and running. I have one master. I have two workers and everything is good to go. I will also show you the namespaces because when we're gonna onboard the cluster to Arc, we're gonna have a new namespace named Azure Arc created for us with all the agents that we are deploying on top of the cluster in order to connect that cluster. So I just wanted to show you that those namespaces um, in the cluster right now.
The next part is to onboard the cluster into Azure Arc. And to do that, we are leveraging the um, AZ Connect um, connected Kubernetes cluster. And this is basically an extension to the CLI. You will have to install that extension and then the command will be available for you. So what is it that we're doing right here? We are performing AZ connected Kubernetes connect. This is the connect command. We are targeting a name for that cluster. Now, this is the name, the way it will appear in Azure. So this is the name that we're going with, our kind demo. The resource group, this is the empty resource group that I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. The location, East US. And I also wanna add some tags uh, to that resource. So let's go ahead and initiate that. And what will happen right now is the command will basically in, will initiate a process of deploying the agents on top of that cluster. And those agents will be created in a dedicated Azure Arc namespace inside the cluster. So we'll come back after that will finish. It will take probably two or three minutes and we'll continue from there. Great. So the AZ connected Kubernetes uh, command um, has successfully completed and we now have the output. Let's just go over that output real quick and see what we have. We have the uh, location that we entered. We have the name, uh, the provision state, which is succeed and also the resource group and the, and the tags. So um, first of all, I'm gonna show you the result in Azure and then we're gonna show what happened on the cluster. So in Azure, if I'll refresh that resource group, we can see a new object created. This is the Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster, the Arc kind demo. And I'll click on the cluster here and we can see the metadata coming from that cluster. If you remember, we had three nodes in that cluster. We had one control plane node and two worker nodes. This is the Kubernetes version and the agent version that got deployed. So great, we have the Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster and we are good to go. Before we're wrapping up this demo, what I wanna show you is what is going on inside the cluster after you onboard it into Azure Arc. The first thing is, I'm gonna show you again the namespaces, and as you can see, now we have a new namespace, Azure Arc. And if I look what we have inside that namespace, let's, let's see what kind of pods we have. You can see that we are deploying multiple things here. Um, we have the clustered metadata operator, the identity operator, config agent, which is what we're gonna use later on for GitOps, controller manager, which is basically the connected agent, which is what enable the Kubernetes cluster to show up in Azure, Flux, which is also a GitOps component, metrics and resource. So in this demo, what we showed how you take um, a locally deployed Kubernetes cluster using Kind and onboard that as an Azure Arc enabled cluster. Thank you.